identifying minerals. In this video, we're going to utilize the Mineral Identification Flowchart provided by the New York State Education Department for students in Earth Science classes. You can see this flowchart extensively lays out physical characteristics of minerals and can lead you from those characteristics to a proper identification. Now, this version has been slightly edited for layout, and you can download a copy in the description below as well as the original copy as provided by New York State. So let's walk through an example of how we would use this flowchart to identify a mineral sample. Here we go. I have this sample. Now the first thing we want to do is work on the flowchart from left to right. And the first characteristic involves the luster of the mineral, how it reflects light off of its surface. And we really only have two groups, and those would be either non-metallic, which you see there on the left, or metallic, which are the samples on the bottom of the chart. Now, clearly, this particular sample that we're looking at does not have a metallic luster, so we know it's got to be one of the ones up here on the top. The next thing we would do is a hardness test. And we would use the Mohs hardness uh, scale and figure out how hard approximately our sample is. Now I can tell you that this particular sample has a hardness greater than 5.5 on that scale. And so I know that it is harder than glass. Therefore, we know we're going to be one of the samples on the top portion of this flowchart. So I'm going to move up to the top here. Now, just so you know, the way you would test that typically is you would attempt to scratch a piece of glass using the mineral sample. If it leaves a scratch, it's harder, and if it does not, it is softer. Now, the next thing we're going to look at is what's called cleavage, and you can review my other videos for more in-depth descriptions of what this means, but the short answer is that cleavage is how the sample breaks. If it displays cleavage, then it breaks in a predictable way. If it does not display cleavage, then it breaks randomly. And by looking at this sample, I don't see any predictable shapes or patterns, so it appears to have poor or no cleavage. And therefore, we can narrow down our samples to this top portion of the chart. Here, we would start to look at some of the additional characteristics. By reading through them, I'm looking for things that jump out at me. And right off the bat, I see the color green and what appears to be kind of sandy or grainy. And so I can conclude, based on looking at all of these characteristics, that we are looking at a sample of the mineral olivine. And so that's how you use this chart. So it's now time for you to identify some mineral samples. What's going to happen is a sample is going to come up on the screen, and there are going to be a couple of hints included. You're going to need to use the physical characteristics that you see in the sample, as well as the provided clues, and use that flowchart to help identify the samples. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here comes sample number one. Sample number two. Sample number three. Sample number four. Sample number five. Sample number six. Sample number seven. Sample number eight. Sample number nine. 
Sample number nine. Sample 10. Great job! Now, of course, you're going to want to check your answers. So look down below for the answer key in the description. Thanks for watching.